Welcome back to another episode of NA Now. I'm Brandon Hofstra, joined by Taylor Shaw of Kenai River. Taylor, thanks for making the uh, probably a quick trip right down here to Dallas, Texas, huh? Yeah, not too bad of a flight, Brandon. Right on, right on. Well, first off, we want to congratulate you, head coach now of Kenai River. Talk about how awesome of an opportunity this is. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing, we're super excited. We kind of call it ground zero for us and our staff here, ready to take over and kind of get going right from the start. So we're excited to get started. Kind of walk us through last year. You guys finished 14, 41, and 5. Um, kind of a rough patch to be straight up with you, but just talk about what, what you're expecting for next year and uh, what you've learned from last season. Yeah, we had the ability to bring back quite a few veteran guys. So, you know, with a mix of those guys and a couple free agents or tenders and draft picks, I think we're, we're just excited to, to start training camp here at the end of August. And, you know, I think the, the one thing that we're going to have the upper edge is, you know, a lot of our veterans when we took over last year, understand the way we want to play and I think that's going to help you know with with all the new guys coming in too. Definitely. We'll kind of walk us through obviously uh, first time as a head coach for the uh, NAHL draft you guys had two first round picks in that 2022 draft. How cool of an opportunity was it to kind of be the uh, the mastermind behind a lot of that? Yeah I mean it's definitely a neat process you know I, I'm certainly not the only one that takes part in it you know we have a great staff up in Kenai River and so you know a lot of brainstorming goes into stuff like that mm -hmm. so you know we were just super excited to to kind of land where we landed right before uh, draft day with a couple trades and, you know, be able to make a jump here for the future. Definitely. Uh, any veteran players that uh, you're looking to lean on for this upcoming season be the kind of tight-knit core group you guys need? Yeah, I mean, I think one guy that's uh, huge for us that we picked up right at the trade deadline for Cole Dubicki was mm -hmm. Noah Holt, and uh, we certainly think we can lean on him here in the future. But, you know, other than that, I, I think there's quite a few guys, you know, Nick Stevens, a couple guys here on the back end, Huffman, um, we have Bryant Marks coming back in goal to ending for us. So, you know, I, I, like I said, we have quite a few guys that can bring back, so we're certainly excited to see what they can do. Definitely. Hockey's just around the corner with the NAHL Showcase coming up, and obviously being from the far west side, you, gotta, you guys get to play some teams from the east. How cool is that going to be to see different different uh, sides of this league? Yeah, I mean, what a great experience for our guys, right, to, to be able to play other teams from the, you know, the league and then also to be in front of, you know, all the scouts mm -hmm. and coaches. So, you know, just a great job by the league to be able to put an event on like that. So we're excited. Right on, and we're excited as well, Taylor. Thanks for joining us, and good luck out there this season. Yep, thanks, Brandon. Appreciate it.